Hi, this is Lisa from Mommy Kid Power. Come join me make a smoothie. So as you see here, I've got everything already taken out. I got my strawberries that I, uh, they were frozen strawberries, so I defrosted uh, them in the microwave a little bit, not, not very long. Um, and I like to put uh, some uh, banana, some pineapple, uh, so whatever you like to put in your smoothie, now's the time because this way here you actually get uh, that um that part uh, i guess the amount of uh, the amount of um fruit that you would need in the span of a day because sometimes it's hard to kind of remember to eat the apple or eat the banana and uh this way here for me it's a lot easier just recently that i realized this so um we just got a new blender which the other one i had didn't didn't work very quickly. It didn't cut very well. So this one here uh, does uh, does the job for us. And I'm sure there's all kinds of them out there. Uh, this is the one that we did pick up and it works uh, quite well. It's quite noisy, but uh, you'll see that in a second. So as I, right here, this is, uh, they come with different sizes. This one here, um, which you got smaller ones and three sizes, I should say. So this one here is the largest one. And I already put yogurts. Okay, I did, you can put any kind of yogurt you want. Uh, this one here is raspberry and vanilla. So I have already put two of them in here. Uh, now I have some oats. So you can put what, whatever amount of oats that you want to put in there. Um, so I've got some in there. And I also, I'll put some different oats as we put it in there. Now, I do like banana in, in there as well. It gives it a little bit of a different taste as well as anything else. Um, but uh, when I do put the banana in, this one here is one that was a little spotted, my banana. So that's the one that I'm gonna use. You can use a fresh one, yellow ones. Uh, this one here is a little spotted. Uh, now we want, uh, I also, this is, it's oatmeal. It's a dad's cookie, I guess we call it. Uh, I like to put some of that in there as well. So with my oats, I also put some uh, of that in there as well. Now, for our, just almost lost the camera there. Uh, so, uh, also I've got my canned pineapple. I find this really gives it a great taste. So, you could use any kind, frozen probably as well. But this one here is already, it's the... the smushed up one like that that you buy. Uh, it's uh, And also I like to put some of the juice. So I'm going to just take and pour it in a little bit. So we have the juice of the pineapple. A little bit of that as well in there. We have a little bit more here. Well, not, not very much. And then we also have the strawberries. Can't forget those. Uh, so here I'm going to put them like that. So we'll just put them all in there quickly as we can. The only one thing is when you're using this blender, it's going to be a little noisy, just like every blender. So I guess it's not something you might want to do when your children are finally asleep. Uh, so unless your kitchen is very far from where your bedrooms are. Hold on here. There, I'm going to put all of them. Also, the juice of the strawberries, I'm going to put that in there as well because that makes it tasty as well. So put that aside. And I guess we are going to, we're almost ready to roll here. So I'm going to put a little bit more of our, I had opened two 
of these. So I'll just put a little bit more on the top. And then we can just close this up. Oh, one thing we need to put in there as well, it would be a little bit of milk. Now, again, you, everybody puts what they would like in theirs. I put a little bit of milk, not a lot. I don't even have to measure it. Just kind of, because if you don't put the milk, I find what it has, what it does is it makes it very thick. And if you're looking to eat it thick with a spoon or uh, in that case, you know, don't add the milk. Uh, but this way here, it'll make it smoother. And I see that I use my little rag here, my little dish rag. I kind of hit it with the banana while we go. So I'm going to close this up. Oh, wait now. i to take my big muscles out here. And I'm going to close it very tightly. As I noticed the other day, is I didn't do it tight enough. And it kind of leaked out a little bit. So I've already plugged it in. We're just going to turn it over. And it goes right in there like that. And it's going to be a little noisy for us here. So here we go. It's all done. So now there's different settings on here. You can make it go a little longer if you think it might not be mixed up. But I think it went quite well here. So we're going to pull this up. There you go. Wow, the color is really pretty. So we're going to open that up. There we go. And you're all ready to pour it into your glass. Now on the top of that as well, you can add a little bit of whipped cream if you want to, or even a little spot of, I guess, ice cream. So it all depends on how nutritional you'd like it to be, uh, but it's, it's doable. Well, there you go. Hopefully you can make a nice smoothie as well today and enjoy with those uh, feet up in the air, in a chair. Maybe your kids have gone to school and you can enjoy your smoothie. Like and subscribe and we'll do